All right, today I'm going to show you, I'm going to put together our True Point 300 package along with its accessories and tripod. The first thing I want to do is set up our tripod. The tripod that we, we offer has got a flat base, quarter 20, because it fits just right on our LAA 300 adapter. I'm going to go ahead and attach the adapter to the tripod using the quarter 20. And this we just hand tighten. You don't want to over tighten the unit, unit onto the tripod. Once I have this hand tightened, I'm going to go ahead and attach the True Point 300. The True Point 300, we need to extend the smart base. I go ahead and unlock that and I extend the base. As you can see on the base, we do also have a quarter 20 mount and also on the LAA 300. I go ahead and attach, attach the unit to the device. and just hand tighten it. You're gonna hear a click when the units get together. Now the LAA 300 is used to fine adjust when you're taking accurate measurements. You can see you can rotate it 360 degrees here and also the tilt the unit here. Once the units are attached, we'll move on to taking some height measurements and missing line measurements. Now I'm gonna to go to use the uh, True Point 300 and just make di take some distance measurements to the unit itself. Uh, once I powered the unit on, I press the fire button, it's right into this distance mode to take a, take a slope distance. To activate, we're outside. If I press the fire button, I, I'm not, not, not able to see the laser pointer outdoors for, as I'm doing my uh, <clears throat> true targeting. What I need to do is utilize the camera. I press the camera button once. And now this is used better to take uh, aiming outdoors. It's got a four times zoom. If I just press up, you can see it's zooming in. I'm gonna zoom out just at one time at this, time at this particular moment. And then I'm just gonna take a measurement over to the power pole. The laser is active. The, red, the crosshair on the screen is red. I press the fire button. It gets a measurement over the pole, as you can see here. I've got 55.93 feet. And I'm gonna go ahead and just do a screen grab at that time. Another distance, I just, that is the slope distance only. But I might want some more information, like the, the actual horizontal distance to the object. Uh, I'm gonna go into the smart horizontal mode. I press the function button, press the, fu oops, press the function button, and I'm gonna scroll over to one icon, which is the smart horizontal distance mode. I press the equals button, and that activates that mode. As you can see here, there's already different values that we're gonna be able to see. Again, I'm gonna activate the camera, so I use that as my viewfinder. Press one up to get the, the one-time zoom, and then I'm gonna go ahead and go aim at the pole again. Now I can use the fine adjust if I need to have a better accurate target. I've got there, press the fire button to activate the laser rangefinder take a measurement as you can see here I have different values I've got my slope distance value at 55.66 feet but also I have my inclination sl slope distance and vertical distance values also at one time I'm gonna go ahead and screen capture that use it for documentation so that is my single distance mode or my horizontal distance mode on the true point 300